All right, folks, welcome back to the second channel. Today we are going bargain hunting for golf clubs. We're getting things started off at this Golf Galaxy. We found a couple of good things in here in the past, but never know what we're gonna find today though, so. Let's go find it. Let's go find it. Starting out with the putters. Looks like we have a, a few good ones in here, even some lefties. We got a lefty Scotty Cameron Golo. We got the uh, PLD. If you guys are looking for a, a super high-end putter, and you don't want a Scotty Cameron or like a Bettinardi or something like that, PLDs are just as good, really high-end. Milled putter, we got a Bettinardi. Speaking of that, $325. That is a sweet looking yeah. head design. You can tell that these are uh, very precision milled. Look they that. almost look like handmade at the same time. Queen B14. Oh, I think this is one that uh, kind of got into uh, some controversy because Costco was selling them. Some rep. Oh, uh, I yeah. Like about the person that. who owned the rights to the uh, Bet and Nardi stuff in uh, South America like, sold them to <laughs> Costco and then they got bad. But a couple more Bet and over there. $330 on that. Spiders galore. But uh, let's go see what they got in terms of the. Uh, the upper part of your bag. All right, before we jump into the other clubs, I want to tell you about the sponsor of today's video at the world's largest White Castle. Yes. Oh, oh, maybe. There, now you can see the sign. There you go. Nailed it. All right, so you guys know that we never do brand deals unless it's a company that we both use and trust, and today's sponsor is Vendu. If you guys sell a bunch of stuff online like we do, you will, uh, this will make your life much easier. It is a cross-listing platform that not only lists to multiple platforms, but it also detects sales and delists. So we've been using it with eBay and Mercari. And Mercari offers zero fees right now. So yeah, definitely oh, it's, it's not like a uh, limited feature. It's zero fees forever. It's pretty cool. So if you guys sell stuff online, you might as well do it. Might and this well. way it makes it way easier. So you post on Vendu and it's super easy. They have all the categories that you need, even mm. golf, which is a very complex category yes. with tons of different uh, subgenres and everything like that. They have it all set up for you. So you post there once and then it can go to eBay and Mercari. And starting April 16th, they have now integrated Whatnot, which is going to be an absolute game, game changer. changer for us. So with Whatnot, you're going to be able to list in the Buy It Now section and have that go over to Mercari and eBay or whatever you sell on, and then it'll be able to auto detect the sale and remove it. They're the only cross platform that is integrating with Whatnot, which is absolutely crazy. Also, Speaking of crazy. This is an absolute game changer. White Castle, the original 1921 burger, so good. Absolutely good. 1921's uh, sliders, the first year that they had it. Mm -hmm. It's like a better uh, version of their uh, regular uh, slider. Yes. But speaking of a better version, how better could it be? Make sure you use the link in our description yes. to sign up for uh, Vendu. And thank you to Vendu for sponsoring today's video. What not, Mercari, eBay, all in one thing? Mind blowing. Mind blowing. Speaking of mind blowing, check out what happens with uh, one of the clubs that we found. We compare it to, well, I won't spoil it to you, no. but I don't know if the uh, big golf brands will like it. No. Hence why they don't sponsor us. But thank you to Vendu for sponsoring it. White Castle, a shout out. If you guys, everyone who has sponsored. I don't know if you have a big enough budget for Ashley. I don't know, but I might be buying a bucket cap though. It's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet, but stay tuned. All right, starting off with the drivers over here. We got an old school classic right here. The R11S going for $75. This is actually, <laughs> Looking at it, it's actually in pretty good condition for an R11S. Mm -hmm. They're always completely the messed up. Help. Yeah, let's see if there's any of this year's drivers. Got the Paradigms from last year. Is this the uh, 10K? No. Uh, I don't G430 think so. Max, G425, the TSIs, Riva. Yeah, none of uh, this year's stuff. Oh, we got a uh, Tommy Armour TA1. I actually played the uh, 3 wood of this for a little bit and it was ridiculously good. Only twenty nine ninety nine. It's not like a high end brand. I mean, Tommy Armour used to be a super high end brand, mm -hmm. but now it's kind of like the uh, house, house brand, brand. of uh, Dick's Sporting that's Goods. Still crazy yeah. price for a we driver. To, we should try that out against whatever like the most uh, modern most driver they have in here. Have. That would be a uh, fun. I mean, <laughs> it's got a Kurokage uh, shaft in there. They have pretty that's good crazy. components. Huh. Let's see what we got in terms of the fairway woods. We got a Heavenwood back here. Usually the higher lofted ones will go for a little bit more, ninety nine dollars. On that, it's about what it goes for. On the Bay PXG 7 wood over here going for 180. That's more than that goes for on the Bay. Zegzio Prime, always expensive. It's been marked down though, so it's been here for a while. Oh uh, yeah. Well, the Zegzio stuff, just like retail, is so expensive that it's mm -hmm. kind of hard for them to sell it uh, used because they don't really sell very many of them uh, new. Anyways, that was the logic for you. If you yes. don't sell it new, then they have a hard time selling it used. But uh, Tiger Woods Grind, $109 on that the mill grind sm9 it's got a is this a, a tour stamp no nope. it's just custom a stamp. yeah custom stamp these mizuno t24 uh, wedges look so nice they got both of them mm -hmm. it's like unbelievably nice uh, raw finish on there yet a, a tour stamp or not a tour stamp but custom. a custom stamp cover they've had that in here forever 
tons of uh, Vogies, got a Maltby. How much is this going for? $110. Huh. It's uh, more than that thing goes for new. But uh, we get an S, what shaft is in there? Maybe it's a super high-end shaft. Uh, Cura Pauge, it's not bad. But uh, you got <laughs> going on in terms of the uh, hybrids. TS2 going for $70, actually a pretty good deal. 10 size shaft in there, stiff flex. That classic Ping oh, G5. Yeah. Ping G5, got the old uh, moon alignment aid. Yeah, that freaked me out the first time I saw it because I thought it was... Uh, oh, cracked, mm -hmm. yeah. I kind of like those. You add that in the turbulators and you're, uh, oh, you're got good to the go. best of the best for ping. Absolute rocket launcher. Guaranteed. <laughs> go into the moon. But uh, there you go. We got uh, oh, lefties. Of moon, though, oh, yeah. We're in the Ashley's moon jersey, too. Orlando Health, Orlando Pride shirt. Yeah. Oh, man. Amazing. <laughs> All of the uh, Orlando stuff, like UCF has the, uh, sp uh, what is it called? Oh, the space astronaut? No. Citronaut. Uh, citronaut. Because it's citrus and astronaut. Yeah, and... those jerseys are sweet. Yeah. Well, let's, uh, let's see what we got in terms of the uh, Iron GPX 921 Tours. Those things are absolutely beautiful. Some P790s. Mm -hmm. Usually don't find very many good deals in terms of the uh, Iron too. Got some T100s. Already been marked down a few times. $734. Paradigms going for 1000 Let's just uh, see what you got. Oh, the, oh, the ferals on this. Yeah, the Tiffany yeah, colorway is mm -hmm. cool. But uh, let's go see what uh, what driver we can compare to that uh, Tommy Armour. <laughs> see what the uh, difference is. World's cheapest driver versus yes. uh, whatever we're going to hit it against. <laughs> All right, we have chosen the victim to go up against the uh, 2999 Tommy Armour. We've got a Mizuno STG, which is a pretty high-end club. But check this out, a Tour AD shaft, which is worth Super probably $250. So I think we're going about as expensive as a setup as you could get because they didn't have any of this year's so we look mm -hmm. for the uh, highest end uh, modern one with a yeah, good shaft versus the uh, Tommy Armour 29.99. See how they stack up. See how they stack <laughs> we'll up. Uh, let's hit probably like five. Eh, we'll do like three with each. We don't want to bore okay. you too much but let's go. I felt good. A little toey hook. Love a good toey hook. Oh wow. Well, the Tommy Armour is going to oh, have a lot to contend with. Insanely forgiving? That, huh. not overly long, but I didn't hit that uh, yeah. anywhere near the uh, center, but that was pretty dang good. Take that all day, every day. All right, let's see if we can square one up and what it'll go with, go for. That one felt good. That's my normal ball fly. I usually play a big fade. <laughs> Super easy to control. All right, 266, 103 club head speed. Not overly good, to be honest with you. Not overly good. <laughs> 280, there you go. 105, 280 is the number to beat cool. with wow, my little uh, fade. There we go, Tommy Armour, 29. Price, if this thing is anything close, that's crazy. Yeah, here we go, Kurokage, regular flex, 50 gram, 10.5, TA1. Does look like it has some technology on mm -hmm. there. It might just be like a paint job. Well, it looks fancy. It does look fancy. There's stuff going on. I don't yeah. know what the technology is, but. Science and such. All standard, even the grip is Tommy Armour. Okay. So, 280 <laughs> is the uh, number to beat. 105. 105 club head speed is the, uh, yeah, so if it gets anywhere around there, it's probably going to win. Comment below what's your, what numbers you would have to see in order for you to spend an extra basically $350. Mm -hmm. Oh, that felt good. It's going to be a little fady though. 278 on the first one. 105, 278. So what is that? That was like a five yard difference? Well, two, right? It was 280. 280, yeah, I, you know me in numbers. <laughs> Based on my math, we're either, uh, well, won't go there, but here you go. Let's see if we could uh, get this one out there. There we go, that was the same exact hit as the first Mizuno. Toey. Wow. Still pretty forgiving. It's carrying way further. Yeah. Interesting. This makes you, makes you wonder. 
$29.99 Tommy Armor. Absolutely. I'm going to hit a couple more with the Mizuno at the end. Maybe I just like wasn't warmed up. That's what I was going to say. Give it its fair shot. Oh, that was nutted. Dang! 284, 106. <laughs> that is... Alright, here we go. Let's do now two more with up. the Mizunos now that we're warmed up. I gotta say, I like the uh, the kick of that shaft a little bit, too. 280. Eh. See if we can find a, uh, a Mizuno with the same exact shaft. It'll probably be pretty hard. Here we go. $300 more at least. No, slice. Two set, but look at how much less carry it's getting mm -hmm. too. Even with a slice, usually it'll carry further because it's spinning so much more. Hmm. Comment below. You guys know that I'm not like an actual custom fitter, but just not liking the results here. But I am loving the results with that uh, Tommy armor. I wasn't expecting it to form that well and be that forgiving. I tried to hook oh. that one. Hello. 215. Goodbye. It's just really hard to control. Mm -hmm. All right, one last one with the Tommy one more, armor. One more. You guys, I'm just saying, I'm just showing you the numbers. You guys determine what it is. Is it the shaft? Is it the club head? Is, is it, it magic? You? It's probably me. <laughs> Robot testing coming soon on the second channel. Oh yeah. Here you go. Oh, I didn't hit that good at all. You didn't hit that good at all, and it went. It went within uh, 0.4 yards yeah. of our best with the Mizuno. That is crazy. Unexpected results. Shocking. Unexpected results. But uh, hopefully you guys did like this video. And big shout out to uh, Vendu for uh, sponsoring uh, today's video. You should definitely uh, check them out. But that is pretty sweet. $29.99 for a uh, Tommy Armor. Yeah. I don't think you can go wrong with that. I don't think you can. But uh, hopefully you didn't go wrong with this video. Yes. Hopefully you guys did like this video. If you did, hit like button and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. See you next time. Oh, let's get the uh, star of the show in here. Oh. Hold up the... Well, yeah. There you go. Thumbnail. Nailed it. <laughs> Bye, guys. Adios.